HS data from the WHO notes that last year over 7.5 million South Africans were living with HIV. In fact, one in every five people living with the disease globally lives in South Africa. Scientists say while the fight to eradicate HIV by 2030 is continuing with vigor post the COVID-19 pandemic, the battle is far from over. The high rates of new infections, particularly in gay men, young gay men, especially young black gay men, and injecting drug users, particularly in Eastern Europe, Russia, that area still has large numbers of new infections. And we need to get the number of new infections in young women in Africa down to a lower level. Scientific efforts in the last two years globally shifted as countries buckled down to fight COVID-19. Now AIDS researchers are regrouping, getting back to critical clinical trials not only in HIV preventative methods, but ultimately for the silver bullet, an AIDS vaccine. Researchers at Caprisa are hard at work looking at the potential of broadly neutralizing antibodies, an antibody that's able to neutralize a wide variety of HIV strains. They are rare individuals that make a very special kind of antibody. An antibody that is able to kill a wide range of HIV. We call that broadly neutralizing. It, it neutralizes a very wide range of HIV. And in those particular antibodies, because they can kill a very wide range of HIV, they have enormous potential to be uh, effective in preventing HIV and also as part of curing HIV. Karim says while it's still early days, the initial signs look promising. In the studies that were done where monkeys were randomly injected with our antibodies, we found that all of the monkeys that got the placebo became infected but none of the 12 monkeys that received our antibody got infected. So the antibody works in monkeys. Now we have to establish, does it also work in humans? Young women in sub-Saharan Africa continue to bear the brunt of the disease, suffering exposure from men up to 10 years their senior. Efforts are ongoing by scientists to equip these young future leaders with interventions to protect themselves. Minoshni Pillay, SABC News, Durban.